Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have to give you a really quick update in case any of you guys followed my last video in which I show you guys how to install a brake controller in a 2019 and up Toyota RAV4. I discovered something that is gonna be an issue for you, but I do have a solution. So that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you guys how to solve the problem in case you get any kind of warning lights on your dash from installing a brake controller in your RAV4. Update to my brake controller installation. I'm towing my T-Rex camper for the first time, and I just got this pre-collision system malfunction. So this is probably what I've kind of heard about from other people who've had issues connecting a brake controller to a RAV4. So I'm gonna have to add a relay, a relay that'll trigger the brake controller when the brake is pressed. So that should isolate the two systems. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna have to go back to the house and do that. But I've got a big trip coming up this weekend with the camper and I just wanted to take a drive around town to test this out and that's what I discovered. So a little more work to do. Well, I just stopped at a place to get some lunch and very surprisingly, I came back and the error is gone. It is very, very rare that an error clears itself. I thought for sure I'd have to go home and disconnect the 12 volt battery or maybe get my scan tool out, but it looks like it's an automatic resetting code, which, wow, that's a, that's a nice one. Thanks, Toyota. That's totally different than what Tesla would do. <laughs> Well, I just got back to my house after my first test with my T-Rex camper and my, I almost said Tesla, <laughs> my Toyota uh, RAV4 Prime. Wow, it's the first time I've said that. Uh, so thank God that's all working. I'll maybe talk about that in another video. I haven't even filmed much yet. Still doing uh, some trials of that, but I wanna come back to the brake controller that I have right down here. I'm going to rewire it, as I said earlier. The only time that warning light came on on my dash was when I used the little pinch brake boost and it didn't actually even come on instantly. I was pushing it a few times. I took it all the way down to test my brakes in the camper. And then finally that's when that warning light came on, which was surprisingly cleared after lunch. But I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add a relay and I'll show you guys how to do that. And I actually didn't show you this in the last video that I made, but this is how I installed it up here. Just two screws that are screwed into this panel here. This is the main connector, so you can actually just remove the controller if you wanted to. And these are the wires here in the car. There is ground. This wire is coming from the brake switch. This one is power coming from my fuse panel on the back. And this is power going to the brakes. Pretty simple. Uh, but what I'm going to do is cut this off and I'll run this to this pin right here, pin 85 of the relay, this side will get grounded along with that right there. And then I'll have power. So this power where my pinky is, I'll bring power off that, send it to here. So anytime the brake pedal is pressed, it'll send power to pin 85 here. 86 will have ground. So this will energize and it'll send power. And pin 30 will be the red wire here. So that'll do exactly what I need and the car won't even see it basically. All right, here we are. I've got power going to pin, I believe that's 87. Ground here, power here from the brake. So when this relay is energized, it then sends power from pin 87 to 30 right there to go to the brake controller. I've already pressed and held my brake booster right here and nothing came up. I can hear the relays click, but no warning messages. So I think I'm good. So I'm gonna button all this back up and I think that'll be good. All right, I really hope that helped you guys solve this problem. I'm sorry I didn't know about it in the first place, but I discovered it and wanted to let you guys know right away. So if you do see this warning light, the relay will solve the issue, at least so far. So far after doing that, it's been perfect. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'm always around, I'll try to help you guys out. But I think that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to subscribe, share, like, all that kind of stuff. See ya.